Hello, uh, this is Gabriel Seno, uh, and in this uh, short video, I'll try to give a short summary of the recent result that we got uh, together with Thomas Strom and Antonia Sin, and which we are presenting at QCrip, and are about uh, quantifying the intrinsic randomness of quantum measurements. So let me first describe the scenario. Uh, which is uh, quite simple, yet uh, is the most general for the problem that we are interested in. Um, so we have a system S, which is prepared on some state uh, rho S, and some known POVM MS is measured. So the state is known, and the POVM is known. Uh, so this is like complete device dependent, uh, so to speak. Um, and we are interested in the maximum probability with which an adversary can guess the outcome of the measurement when she has correlations, not only with the state, as is what's usually considered in the literature, but also the measurement. So what we will do, we will uh, consider two ways to model the adversary's correlations with the state and the system one which we call classical and the other which we call quantum, and we will compare the, the relative strength. So let me start with the classical picture, which is a straightforward generalization of the one for the setting in which there are no correlations with the measurement, the one that has already been considered in the literature. So uh, what one assumes here is that every time the system uh, S is preparing the state rho S, and that the measurement MS is performed, which what is actually happening is that some classical random variable lambda is being sampled and <coughs> with priority P lowercase lambda, the system is actually in some pure state phi lambda, and the extremal POVM MS lambda is being performed. Uh, and so, in the Rosal setting, this uh, this is a sad information in position of the, adver of the adversary. That is to say, in, in every time the a measurement is performed on S, uh, it knows which particular pure state and which particular steamer POVM in in this decomposition of rho S and MS uh, are being uh, selected, so, so to say. Uh, and so with this information, her best guess for the outcome of the measurement on S is one maximizing the Born rule. And so she will be correct uh, with the probability that is obtained averaging over lambda. And given that there are uh, infinitely many convex decompositions of rho S and MS in general, um, and we, uh, we are interested in the maximum probability that an adversary gets the outcome, we have to consider the worst case and maximize over all of them. And this is our definition of the classical guessing probability. Okay, so now let me explain the quantum picture, which is based on this uh, very influential manuscript uh, from 2013 by Fohiga, Renner, and Troyer. And it consists of uh, assuming that what, once, uh, what one sees in S as the POVM MS is actually a projective measurement on S and an ancillary system A. Um, so this is like a, like a Neymar dilation. But unlike the standard one, uh, in this uh, so-called generalized Neymar dilation, the state of the ancillary is uh, allowed to be mixed. Uh, so the, the correlations between the adversary and the measurement, they are modeled by letting her have a purification of the, of the ancillary uh, system. But uh, in our setting, since we are also considering correlations with the with the state, we will let her have a purification of the joint state of the system of and the ancilla, which uh, 
we are allowing to be uh, non-product. So we, we are allowing there to be correlation between the system and the ancilla, which has uh, asked for the reduced state on S to be rho S and the reduced state on A, together with the projected measurement, to reproduce the statistics of the BOBM M uh, on system S. Uh, okay, so with this uh, system E purifying uh, S and A on her possession, what she does is look for the measurement uh, that maximizes the, the correlation between its outcome and the outcome of S A. Okay. Um, uh, like just like in the classical uh, picture where there could be different convex decomposition of the states and the measurement here there could there are many uh, essentially infinite um, generalized night mark dilations of the measurement so we will let her uh, choose the best for her task so we maximize all of this and this is the what we call the quantum guessing probability. Um, just uh, a small comment uh, comparing to to Frohiger uh, et al. In their paper, the generalized Neymar dilation is fixed by the user, but in our case, we are letting it be chosen by the adversary. Um, okay, now. Let's go to the results. So I will present the results in, in what I believe is an increasing level of interest. Uh, the first one is, uh, as I, I guess uh, most of you have been viewing this video, expect um, the quantum guessing probability is always at least as large as the classical. The second result <clears throat> is that these two coincide when the state is pure. So it, it was already known uh, that we have equality for the case of extremal measurements. So this is like an analog of, of that result for extremal states. Um, and finally, um, the uh, I guess our most important result which was actually uh, obtained after the submission to QKIP, but I thought I should anyway mention it uh, in this talk, is that in general, uh, these two guessing priorities do not coincide. Uh, we have found a family of four outcome qubit POVMs, uh, for which uh, when measured on the maximally mixed state, the, um, the quantum guessing priority is a uh, unity, uh, by construction, but the classical uh, guessing priority is not. Um, as for future uh, research directions, I, I guess the most important one, uh, and one that would certainly be appreciated by people working uh, in the design and, and manufacturing of QRNGs, is to find a way, uh, ideally efficient, to compute at least approximate from above this uh, this guessing probability. This, uh, so far we have uh, we have no no way. Um, so yeah, this is future research. Um, so with this, I would like to to conclude. Uh, thanks uh, for viewing this video.